that's what our goal is, is to change the world one person at a time and uh, make no bones about it, kids. That's what we're doing. We are changing the world. And um, we're doing that by, by simply spreading the message of truth and health and, and, um, and that. And so with that said, hey, Paul Nelson, good to see you, Tree Climber. And Brittany Dykes, honey, the angel, Brittany Dykes, lady who changed my life forever. Bless your heart, hon. So good to see you here. So, um, Shannon, to uh, get this thing started, what, uh, what I want to ask you is, um, first off, you know, how did you find out about Kong's Water? Were you a skeptic? What made you decide to get involved? What made you decide that, you, that, that it was something for you? And uh, how long of a, uh, have you been involved with the family? Well, when I first learned about uh, the Kong and that, uh, I was actually in the hospital with my son. Um, when I first looked at it, I was going for more job perspective. Uh, because I'd gotten a phone call that my son, during football practice, had broken both of his legs. And here I'm thinking, as a full-time working mom, how am I going to take care of him full-time and work full-time? Because he was straight leg casted all the way up to his thighs. So that means he couldn't walk, he couldn't do anything, he had to be carried everywhere, you know, from the bed to the bathroom, whatever. So I was looking more job opportunity wise until I learned about the products. Uh, it took me from one mindset to the next. Uh, I learned about the products, did research in that and got me thinking of my mom. Uh, my mom battled cancer for 13 years and I just got thinking like, I wish I had this when she was alive. You know, uh, she was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 40, uh, had a mastectomy, and one year later, she was diagnosed with bone cancer. And when I became 30 years old, the doctors told me I had to start being tested 10 years prior to her diagnosis because I was at high risk. And I... To be honest, I wasn't skeptical. Not like everybody else says they were. I read about the products and that, and to me, things happen for a reason, and I felt it came to me for a reason. So I jumped on board quick. Like, I was like, I have to get all of these products. So I bought all of these products, started implementing them into, you know, mine and my family's lives. And because, you hear everybody say when they turn 40, they get diagnosed with something. I was terrified of turning 40. That was my main reason why I was terrified of turning 40. It wasn't the age or anything. I didn't want to be diagnosed with something like everybody else. And because I was at high risk for what the doctors say, uh, yeah. So that's the main reason why I jumped in. Um, and I hated drinking water. <laughs> If it wasn't flavored, I wouldn't drink it, to be honest. I had to force myself to drink it. And yeah, it's just, it was crazy. Uh, but fast forward, I've been in this for like two and a half years now. I, my ex that I was with uh, wasn't very supportive. Um, so after 16 years, I decided to leave. And when I left, I left my machine with him. So I was about a year without, you know, the Kong machine. And everyone's like, oh, no, you left it. You got to go back and get it. But for me, my son still lives with him. So it's not like I left it there, you know, that I should go get it. I left it there for my son. You know, my son has access to that. And that makes me feel good. So yeah, I did have to go buy another machine, which I just got. And so now I'm not only implementing it in mine and my daughter's lives here. You know, I know that my son uh, still has one there too with him. 
so that's an interesting thing with the with him still having that machine have you been able to because you you know maybe if, if you haven't thought about this you might be able to take that business position and put it under his name and uh and then um you can continue to help build that business position and and uh set your son up and you know if he actually likes drinking it and stuff it's something that that he could take advantage of as well in the in the future so that's just kind of an interesting thing to because now you've got another machine under a different name and and so you've got another you got two business positions or you know depending on what you've done and so that's awesome that's a that's a pretty neat thing for you to go through what uh, so you ended up going because this is a this is kind of an interesting story for folks out there because you know people who get on start drinking Kong and water and and just by the way I I I hated drinking water too. I never drink water ever. And uh, when I bought my, if I was sick, I would drink water, and that was it. Never. I figured I get my water from my Sprite, my Coke, my Gatorade, my all that kind of stuff. And uh, and so, hey, Julio, good to see you, buddy. Always good to see you here. Um, but anyway, yeah, I I thought, well, heck, I just spent four thousand bucks. I'm gonna my golly, I'm drinking this water, you know, <laughs> and that was a, a big thing. So I kind of had to force myself to, to drink the water as well. But it was a lot different than, than the water that I drank in the past, just because of the way that it absorbs and how different it feels when you're drinking it and, and, you know, the benefits of, of right. just doing it, you know, and, and so sometimes that investment in is a big path to, to change for people. And uh, so, so you ended up being in a situation where now you've been on, you've been drinking Kong's water for a year or whatever, and then all of a sudden, boom, you don't have it. Ooh, okay. So, why don't you tell everybody about that experience? Well, it it was a little, I don't know, it was a little hard. You know, you get used to doing something, and then I don't know. I felt like my my health was deteriorating. Um, this past year I went, I was having all these body aches, all these, you know, problems with my body. And, and I don't, didn't know why, um, I am a super healthy person. I come back from a vacation one day and I just fall to the floor, but I couldn't move. I couldn't walk. Uh, I had to crawl. If I needed to get out of the bed to go to the bathroom, I had to crawl. I was like that for a week. Um, I couldn't even make it to the doctors because I couldn't even, I couldn't even move. Um, I went to the doctors and I was positive for my anti-nuclear antibodies, um, tested positive. And they usually say that the numbers are anywhere between zero to 50. Uh, you want to say around in that range? Mine was 320. Whoa. Yeah. So he's like... Oh my God. He goes, no wonder why you're having so much pain. He felt so sorry for me, sent me to a specialist in the city, uh, immediately. And, uh, you know, it comes and goes, but he says, I don't have it full blown yet, but you know, in the future it could lead up to, uh, you know, lupus and that. So I am glad I got back onto this water. Um, because I do believe you know, it's going to help me out. So now I can't wait to wait 90 days to go back to the doctors and then have them redo my blood work again and see where my numbers are at there. That's awesome. So have you, uh, how much of the water have you been drinking each day now that you have your machine back? I've been drinking two bottles. I have to work myself up there because like I said, I, after being off of the, the King and water, I'm not drinking tap water. There's no way. Um, it's just so much chlorine and all those chemicals in there. I, I refuse to drink it. So I was buying either bottled water or flavored water. So now that I'm back on it, you know, I have to work myself back up there. So I am drinking three of these a day. I know it's probably not that much. I could be drinking more, but I, I'm, I am doing it, you know. So that's for me. I'm, I'm proud of myself because I go from drinking like the flavored water to, to this. So it is a big step for me. So three a day for me is good until maybe next week I'll work myself way up to four or so. 
Well, you know, the nice thing about that is that drinking three of those each day is like drinking 18 of, if you were drinking regular water, regular bottled water, flavored water, tap water, well water, any kind of water, whatever it is, it's, right. you're, you're drinking three of those each day. That's like drinking 18 of, of regular, uh, regular water. So kudos to you. And, um, and yeah, the more you can drink, the better. That's just the way it is. The more of it that you can get into your system, the better off it's going to be for you, the more results you're going to see. And, um, and so that's awesome. But, uh, you know, during the time that you had your machine, when you were still with your ex, were what, um, what kind of things do you have to say about that time frame? that, um, uh, you know, what, uh, what, what kind of stories did, did you have that happened? And, you know, I want to also at this point in time, I always mention to everybody that, that, um, you know, Kong's, Kong's water is a gift. It's not a miracle. It's not a magic water. It's a gift from God and Mr. Ashiro. And what it does is it gives our body the main two ingredients that, that it needs to be able to heal itself, to be able to work for itself, to be able to run the way it's designed to run, which is electricity and hydrogen. Those are the two components that are most important that, uh, you know, give our body what it needs so it can heal itself. It's designed to heal itself. This is one thing that most people just simply do not understand. And it's a big part of our educational uh, mission is to help people understand that this right here, this is a machine, just like any other machine out there except this machine is designed to heal itself. It's not designed to be fixed by doctors or anything like that, unless you break it. You know, if you break it, you might need a doctor to help you put it back together, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, so we always want to be careful to not be making any medical claims because I never, I'm not making any medical claims. What I'm saying is that the body does amazing things when you give it the main ingredients that it needs. That's what Kong's water is. And so when you started giving your machine, you started giving your son's machine, your husband's machine, your friend's machine, you started giving them that main ingredient. What kind of interesting uh, things did you see happen during that time frame? Well, I did make sure my son uh, drank a lot of the water uh, during his healing process uh, because they did say that he had no weight bearing for eight weeks. And to me, eight for a kid to be out of school for eight weeks and uh, just sit in a hospital bed, it's got to be, you know, pretty boring. And, you know, it's, it was hard for him. Uh, I made sure that he was very well hydrated. It was the best thing for him. Um, and he went to the doctors, his four week checkup. And, uh, you know, they was like, he was scooting by himself on the floor within four weeks. Um, I'm not saying it was because of the water, but I made sure he was very well hydrated, you know? And this kid was just like me, did not like to drink water, but I made sure he drank it because it was the best thing for him at the time. And so he would jump out of the bed into the wheelchair, hop down on the floor, and he would scoot himself up the stairs and scoot himself down. And, you know, here I'm thinking, oh, my God, oh my God, Bailey is like, you're not supposed to be putting any weight on your legs at all. And he's like, oh, I feel fine. I have no pain at all. And I'm like, okay. So, um, yeah, I just, you know, I give it to my animals. Um, I, I, I clean with it. I, I clean all my fruits and vegetables with it. You know, I clean my dish counters, everything. I, I do it, use it for everything because I, I believe in it. I believe. I do. I believe in it. That's awesome stuff. So how's your son doing now? Does it, how long, uh, how did his recovery go? I'm assuming that he's back running around and being a kid again and all yeah, that. He, he, well, he was 15 at the time and he's almost 18 now. So he's fully well healed. Uh, he fully healed in six weeks instead of eight. And uh, he uh, went back to football. No doubt. Wow. Yeah, he didn't let it stop him. <laughs> awesome. I love it. Someday I'd love to meet your son. That would be great. Maybe we can get him on the show here one of these one of these days as uh, as time goes by. I'd love to hear his story and hear what if, is he still drinking the water as far as you know? As far as I know. Um I did buy a new filter um because you know being 
in two and a half years. I think I've bought two for now. But, um, yeah, that's all. Yeah. I, you know, all you can do is encourage people to, to drink the water. You know, we can't force it down their throats. We can't, you know, sm smash them upside the head. We like to throw up all over them, tell them all the positive stuff about it. But, uh, you know, that's just the way it is because it um, – it is very powerful to the to the body to give it give it these two ingredients that are so so special and found out there in nature and such you know so but that's fantastic news to hear that about your son I'm tickled for that that's uh that's I'm actually problem. in the process of getting another machine even though I just got mine um, I'm in the process of getting another one uh, mm -hmm. for my dad and my stepmom down in Tennessee uh, my stepmom's having some uh, kidney problems she's got one kidney left and uh, she's it's failing on her um so i am in the process of getting her one of those you know see if it you know help her out my dad's been having a, a sickness and he's just been getting sick uh, i and i yell at him because i tell him it's because of stress you know i yelled at him yesterday i told him stress is the number one cause for illnesses i said and you go into work every day um taking on everyone's work is stressing you out, which in turn is making you sick, you know? Yeah. So I, I told them, I was like, you need to get out of there. And I don't know. I just, I just want to get them on this water also. Yeah. That's awesome. That, that's a pretty neat thing that you're able to do that for them. And um, so definitely like to, to have you keep us abreast of, of how things are going in that department, you know, because we really want to, you know, the, the thing about it is that stories are the thing that, that really sell when people, it was a story that got me involved with this. It wasn't all the facts and figures or any of that stuff. It was a story. It was a, a beautiful angel, Brittany Dykes, who told her story one day on Facebook. That's what changed my life was her story. Um, you know, after, you know, watching all these facts and figures run across the screen and such going, yeah, whatever, you know, and uh, then a, then that story really got me and that's that's i think is what happens with a lot of people you know and you never know whose story is going to resonate with who and so the stories that we can get they're powerful they'll help us to, to accomplish our mission of changing the world and um so with uh, with all that um my next question for you is um you've got one thing that you can say to somebody you've got one one opportunity to say one thing to them about this, about this water, about Kong's water. Um, and uh, what you say to them is going to make or break whether they get involved or not, maybe, whatever. But you've got this one little opportunity to say one thing. What is it? What do you say to somebody? You only have one thing you can say. It's not about the money. It's never about the money. At first, it was for me until I learned about it. It's about changing people's lives. Uh, you have to believe in yourself. Don't believe what anyone else tells you. I used to be that way. Oh, you can't do this. Don't do this. It's a scam or whatever. You know, you have to do what's best for you. You know, don't let anybody try to take that from you. So yeah, I always tell everybody, do you. Believe in yourself. And if you have those little thoughts in your head, or in your heart or whatever, listen to them. That's some great advice right there. I love it. You know, There's a lot of people that don't believe in themselves. There's just a lot of people that just doesn't believe in themselves. They would rather, they would rather listen to other people and then not realizing that those other people are running their lives, you know? So. Yeah. That's, that's some great advice right there because that that's probably one of the biggest problems that people have is just listening to too much nonsense from other people that uh, those other people haven't done their research. Those other people haven't looked, those other people don't really know what the heck they're talking about. And here they are trying to tell you what you can or cannot do. And so I love that message. You know, in fact, that particular question is always my favorite when I'm interviewing folks like yourself here, um, because of the different variations of, of what people would say and what the, the different pieces of advice that come out. And, and that one, I love that one, you know, that believe in you, because that's the key. <laughs> if you don't believe in you, who's going to believe in you? You need to believe in you first. And, uh, 
and you know do your research do do what you need to do to convince yourself and um and then don't worry about what what comes after that because there's all you can do is just share the truth and and share the wisdom and share your knowledge and then where it goes from there is up to them we always say we can't we can lead a horse to kong but we can't make him drink but we can sprinkle him with salt and you know feed him a bunch of salt and make him thirsty <laughs> so um yeah that's uh that's fantastic and um so with um with all of that um i i always say here that you never know who's going to resonate with who who is going to see this because this is being recorded. It's going to go on to YouTube. You're going to have it available. It's going to get shared out all over the place. And, and so you never know who's going to be watching, who's going to run into this a year or two from now and go, wow, you know, something like that happened to me. Something like that happened to my son, you know, and, and they might want to hook up with you. They might want to come and get a machine from you. They might want to uh, be part of your team. And so I always ask, everybody to give out whatever information they would like to give out to people, whether that's phone numbers, website addresses, you know, Facebook pages, whatever, whatever kind of con contact information that you would like to give out. Um, please do at this point, let, let people know how they can get a hold of the lovely, beautiful, awesome Shannon Cox. How can they get a hold of you, honey? Well, um, on Facebook, uh, I have, two of them. One is just Shannon Cox and the other one is Shannon May Cox. It's M-A-E. And I do have a website. It's shannonmcox.com. Uh, so those would be the best ones. So that website, can you spell that out so that people can? It's S-H-A-N-N-O-N-M-C-O-X.com. Okay, there we go. And uh, so, yeah, anybody out there that, uh, that has, uh, you know, liked what they've heard from Shannon and they'd like to meet with her, talk with her, get some advice from her. I know she's just like me. She wants to help people. And uh, so we always love it when people reach out and ask for that help, because if you don't reach out and ask, how the heck are we supposed to know? And so... Yeah, Shannon, that's just wonderful, and I um, I really appreciate you taking some time out of your busy day to come and share your powerful story with us. Thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. I'm, uh, I'm that's my my goal is to do this seven days a week, and um, have somebody new, special, whatever on every single day that wants to come and share their story. That uh, you know whatever their experience has been and. Uh, it's really heartwarming to see all the different stories and hear the stories and, and uh, see the successes, whether it be on the business side or the product side. Um, you know, the, this, this is really the epitome of what, what we learn um, through our morning motivation and that kind of stuff. And that, you know, the way you find wealth, really true wealth in this world is by helping other people. And, uh, you know, reaching down and grabbing them and they're trying to get up the ladder. You reach down and grab them by the hand and yank them up and help them up the ladder versus stepping on their hands as they're trying to step up and get another rung up. And if we do that, we will find the success we're looking for. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't think there's a, a more powerful way out there in the world to help other people. And I think that's why the people that are involved with the Kong family have so much passion for it. Um, I know that's why I have such passion for it is there's just nothing as powerful as having somebody call you up, cry and thanking you for changing their life. And uh, so it's, um, it's a great thing. And I want to say thank you so much for coming on with us today and uh, look forward to having you back on again sometime here in the future when, uh, when we can maybe get a chance to bring your son on, I'd love to hear his story. I'd love to hear what's going on with your, with your, uh, your dad and your mother-in-law and how, how things are working out for them. Um, so yeah, anything you can do to help us uh, get, get stories in here and get people in here, just uh, have them hook up with me and we'll get them scheduled on a day. 
And okay. we're doing Monday through Fridays at 8.45 a.m. Mountain. We're doing Saturdays and Sundays on any time of the day that works for, for the guests. So some people can't do this time of day. <laughs> and so they need to come in on a Saturday and Sunday. And I, I have so much fun with it and, and love hearing the story so much that I'm, I'm making it available to everybody in any time. And, uh, and we're going we're gonna to continue on our mission of changing the world. And so... Thank you so much. Congratulations on getting your machine back again and, and hooking your mom up, your, your dad and your mom up. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just fantastic stuff. And you know, thank you for being part of the family and helping us accomplish our mission. We're going to accomplish it. It's already happening. And, um, you know, make sure that you have yourself an incredible day, a blessed day. And, of course, don't forget your gloves. Who do you Thank you. Um, and thanks, everybody, for joining in. We love you. Have a blessed day. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow.